Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna make our own AR plus IoT project in which we'll be controlling our appliances with the virtual button. It's like we can turn off like this and we can turn on like this. Like on, hey, off, on. Okay, stop. Okay. So basically, we will be controlling our appliances without having any touch screen using the virtual buttons that will be floating in the air and we just need to hover our hands over that button to control that appliances. So let's quickly start with this AR plus IoT tutorial. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer based software company. Now let me tell you one very interesting, very unique feature about this software which I bet you haven't seen in any other PCB designing software and that feature is called as follow me mode. Now this is truly very useful feature which I can't explain it in simple words, rather let me show you the actual video of this particular feature. Have you seen that? The path automatically adapts the curve quite seamlessly. And now I can imagine making this kind of path in any other PCB designing software would be really a tedious task for sure. Now you can also try this and many other features of this PCB designing software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on that link, you'll be getting a free trial version of LTM designer software. So go ahead, try it out and if you find it interesting, you can purchase this software later on. So let's start with making our Unity project for this virtual button. For that, just open up the Unity Hub on your computer. Now, I have already covered where you can find this Unity Hub and everything in my previous video, the previous episode. So do watch out that video if you haven't watched it yet, okay? So after opening the Unity Hub, just click on New. And here, just name your project. I will name it as Virtual Button Project, okay? Click on Create. So it will create a Unity project inside the Unity Hub. Okay, so here is our Unity project. Now the first step is we need to add Vuforia engine packages inside your project just to give our project the power of AR camera, okay? For that, just go to google.com and here just search for Vuforia. Click on the first link. And here you just need to make an account and log into your account. I will quickly log into my account. After that, just go to downloads and click on this add Vuforia engine to Unity project. Click here to download the file. Click on I agree. And after downloading, just double click on the downloaded file. It will automatically redirect you to your Unity project. Now here you just need to click on import to import all the packages like the Vuforia packages onto your Unity project. Here just click on update. Now this process will take some time. So let's just quickly fast forward this video. Okay, so the Vuforia package is successfully added and to cross check it, you just need to right click here and as you can see, the Vuforia engine option appears here. That means we have successfully added, okay? So now what I'll do, I'll go to the Vuforia engine uh, option and I will add an AR camera, okay? Okay, so the AR camera is successfully added and we'll remove this main camera as we don't need this in our project, okay? Okay, so after adding the AR camera, now we have to add a target image based on which we'll be, you know, adding those virtual buttons okay so we also added the target image in the last episode so everyone who have watched that must already know what is a target image about for others uh don't worry you will be getting to know about what is a target image while while watching this video okay but before adding that first we need to choose a target image in my case i already chosen that target image which is uh this uh, let me just show you so here is that target image, okay? So you first need to decide uh, which target image to choose. If you if you want to use this same image, I'll provide this into the my GitHub repository whose link is in the description, okay? So after deciding the target image, just go to the Vuforia website and here just click on develop. Now here in the develop, just click on target manager and here click on add database. Give database a name, I will name it as virtual image. It should contain virtual underscore image, okay? And uh, I'll click on this create button. Okay, the virtual image is added. I'll double click on it. And here we have to add the target image. For that, click on add target. Uh, click on browse. The select that target image which you have decided. In my case, it is uh, here. I'll click on choose. Width will be one and name is test. Doesn't matter. Click on add button. So with this, we have successfully added the target image to the database. Now we will be downloading this database onto our computer. For that, just click on this uh, test database and click on download database. And it is for Unity Editor, so you select this and click on download. Okay, so the image database successfully downloaded. After that, just double click on that downloaded file and it will automatically redirect you to the Unity project. And here, just click on import button to import the database onto your project, okay? So it is successfully imported. Now what we'll do is, we'll click on this AR camera and now here, we need to add our 
account license as well just to link our unity a, a project with the vuforia engine as okay for that just click on open vuforia engine configuration and here you have to add the license now from where you can get the license for that again you need to go to this vuforia website here you click on license manager and here just click on get development key you need to give a license name i will name it as virtual check mark this box and click on confirm after that, open this virtual license and here is the license key. Just click on this box to copy the license and just paste that license here. So with this, we have successfully added the license and linked our Vuforia engine with our Unity project. Now let's just start making that actual project, like adding virtual buttons onto the target image. For that, just right click on this AR camera, go to Vuforia engine and click on image target. Okay. After that, here we'll be selecting the image from database and the database should appear okay so here is the database that we have created that is the virtual image okay and the database image is test if i zoom it a little bit as you can see here is our target image that we have downloaded into our database okay so it successfully appeared here so previously what we did after this is we added the actual canvas and plane and buttons to it but it's no more the case in the virtual button you need to perform some different steps to add virtual button for that just click on this uh, image target and here you need to go to this option called as advanced. Now here click on add virtual button. With this uh, one virtual button is added. If I double click on it, as you can see, this is the virtual button added to our target image. Okay. Uh, in our case, we want two different virtual buttons. So what I'll do is I'll again click on image target, uh, click on advanced and add one more virtual button. As you can see, the two virtual buttons appear onto our screen. Okay. Uh, now I will uh, rearrange this onto the plane. Now one thing about virtual button is that uh, virtual button is visible here inside the project window but once we run this project the virtual button will be no more visible into the uh, real in the application side okay these are kind of the transparent planes you can say okay uh, now to make them visible what we do is we'll add a plane here and we'll add an image to that for that just click on this virtual button right click on it go to 3d object and add a plane here Okay, after that we'll be resizing this plane according to the size of the virtual button. Similarly, I'll make a plane for this virtual button as well. Perfect. So now what we'll do, we'll be adding an image to both of the virtual buttons. For that, I already made, uh, designed the images uh, for on and off. Let me just show you. Let's see here. Okay, so here is that uh, off image and uh, here is the on image. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll quickly drag and drop this images uh, inside the Unity project. After that, I will just drag and drop the on image to the on plane and drag and drop this off image to the off plane. Okay, I'll change its view to top angle. Okay, so images are kind of a, a 180 degree rotated. So I'll change its orientation. I'll click on plane, change its X axis to 180. No, sorry. I'll change its Y axis to 180 and now I think the images are uh, perfectly oriented similarly for off. Okay, so we have successfully added the on of images and uh, we changed its orientation uh, just to uh, um, make it aligned with the target image. Okay, so now with this we have successfully made the structure of our project. Now we are left with adding the code to this adding the logic to this project. Okay, for that what you have to do is you need to have this script uh, on to your computer. I will just show you in a while in virtual buttons. So here is that script okay so what i'll do i'll quickly drag and drop this script here okay don't worry i'll be explaining you the script as well i'll open the script okay so here is the script i will maximize this window so here first of all all the necessary we can say libraries are included here now uh, here we have declared four public variables one is for virtual button on one is for virtual button off so here we'll be providing the virtual button on off uh, uh, we can say buttons here after that we need to provide the url on and url off so in this project what we are doing is with the on button will be turning on one appliances and by pressing the off button will be turning off that same appliances so we will be adding the apis for that uh, inside the url option okay so these four variables are publicly declared after that going to the void start side then what we are doing is we are assigning a particular function for example if the on button is pressed like the virtual on button is pressed what we to do is we just need to call this function similarly if virtual off button is pressed we are calling this function okay so now let's just 
have a look about what's inside this functions. So when we are turning on the plans, what we are doing is we are calling one more function call as get request and we are requesting the on URL similar. So it's, it's like just, so it's just like as soon as we are pressing the button, we are requesting an API link to turn the plans on. And similarly, if we press the off button, we are just requesting one API to turn that appliance off. And after that, we are also printing that LED is on and LED is off inside. We can say a debug window just to make sure the button is already pressed. Uh, we can visualize it inside a debug window. I'll let you know that as well. So that's the very simple code, uh, which will make our project, which will add logic to our project. Okay. So now what we have to do is we will be dragging and dropping this uh, code file inside the image target. After that, just click on image target and uh, Okay, so here we have to provide all the variable data like what is the on button, what is the off button, on URL and off URL. Okay, so for on I will quickly drag and drop this virtual button here and for the off I will quickly drag and drop this virtual button here. Okay, so we have successfully assigned the virtual buttons. Now we just need to assign the URL. So in the previous video we have used that Blink URL so everyone must be aware about Blink do provide APIs to control the Blink project or Blink appliances. Okay, uh, if you don't know let me show you uh, whenever you create the Blink project now this is all about uh, controlling the appliances with the uh, older version of the Blink platform. Okay, so you can uh, still control the appliances using your computer by just requesting this link, maybe from your computer, maybe from laptop, tablet, anything. Okay, so what you have to do is you just need to provide the authentication token of your project. After that, you have to provide the pin number and you have to provide the value to be sent to that particular pin number. Maybe it's a virtual pin, maybe it's a digital pin, doesn't matter. Okay, so for my project, I already created a link whose uh, authentication token is this virtual pin is v1 and data to be sent is zero so a zero will turn off the appliance and one will turn on the appliance okay so that's a pretty simple data okay so now what i'll do is i'll simply copy and paste this link into the respective url on and url off section by just changing the data to zero and one for on and off okay i'll do that quickly Okay, so we have successfully added all the four variables and with this we have successfully made our project of you know controlling appliances using virtual buttons so before like building an apk like the android application for it let's just test this project here inside the unity hub let me just show you just click on this play button okay so the project is started playing so here is my target image i will show this target image in the front of the screen and as you can see the two buttons appear onto the screen okay so now if i move my hand to the green one let me just open the debug window as well here in the console Okay, if I go to the, let's say red one, uh, hopefully should show. Okay, as you can see, it's showing LED is off and the light turned off here. If I move my hand here, it shows LED is on and the light turned on here. So it is perfectly working and it's a virtual button. It's not a physical button. We don't need any touch screen for this. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'll quickly build this, uh, APK Android application and then we'll be testing this project inside an Android phone. So let me just show you how to build this application for that. I'll stop this uh, project here. Go to the file, go to the build settings and here click on Android and click on switch platform. Okay, so we have successfully switched the platform to Android. Now we just need to click on the build button. It will automatically build an APK file for us. Click on build. After that, give the name to this project. I will name it as virtual world. Now here it will take some time to build the Android application. So I'll see you on the other side with the application already installed on my mobile phone. See you there. So yeah, that was another concept about AR with IoT, but this time we use the virtual button and we think this virtual button will be used uh, in the future with the AR glasses rather than those physical buttons. Okay. So yeah, that was the concept. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got to learn something new and here we have Ritesh to say something. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so he was the Ritesh intern at Tech Studio. He helped me a lot with the AR IoT projects and 
if you are not considering my request consider his request to make sure like the video comment down below your thoughts regarding uh, this project also share this video with the friends who love this technology with ar and iot and that being said hey wait we will be also be making yet another project using er plus iot so next time we'll try to make uh, a project with using multiple images like uh, till this second episode we used only single target image to display the buttons on it but now we'll be displaying two target image with multiple buttons and on multiple images so that will be the another episode if you're excited do press the like button as soon as we get maximum number of likes i don't put any number here we'll soon start making that project and that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video explore learn share with me techie sms